Hello, we are Team Mountaineers from West Virginia University. We are proud to share our newest robot design and demonstrate that we are ready for the 2024 University Rover Challenge. Introducing Heimdall, which will be working along with our drone Valkyrie. This year we'll be using a combination of wheels and legs, WEGS. This hybrid structure is made of carbon and Kevlar, which offers a remarkable blend of strength and agility. Their design prioritizes a favorable strength to weight ratio, enabling Heimdall to move efficiently across various terrains while traversing obstacles. Heimdall features a split body, semi-monocoque style aluminum sheet metal chassis. A roll bearing mechanism ensures consistent contact with all four legs, enhancing stability across different terrains. The inclusion of a hinge allows for a large drive base as the body can fold to fit within the transport crate. Each segment of the chassis consists of two motor pods. This setup not only enables precise control, but also facilitates efficient torque transfer. The modular front chassis allows for flexibility to accommodate different payloads. The rover features two custom printed circuit boards, a power distribution board, and a payload PCB to manage DC motors, sensors, and servos. Heimdall is equipped with two communication systems, one on the 900 MHz and one on the 2.4 GHz bandwidth. This enables both long distance and high speed communication. The versatility provided by the WEG and chassis design allows Heimdall to traverse extreme terrain. Using a series of cameras to view the surroundings as well as a configurable user interface, operators are able to search and interact with the environment. Heimdall uses a 5 degree of freedom manipulator to grasp and handle different sized objects. The manipulator links are constructed using carbon fiber to reduce weight while maintaining structural integrity. Custom machined aluminum components connect each link, facilitating stable movement of the arm. A parallel four bar mechanism is used to manipulate the shoulder and elbow joints. This setup permits both primary drive motors to be positioned at the base of the arm decreasing the torque required for manipulating objects when the arm is extended. Our drone Valkyrie will assist in the delivery mission by searching for objects, reading signs, and identifying any points of interest. For the equipment servicing mission, the arm uses a lead screw as a prismatic joint, providing 52 centimeters of horizontal travel. This capability allows the manipulator to effectively maneuver while servicing the lander, eliminating the need for the rover to reposition. A two degree of freedom wrist facilitates precise movement at the end effector, providing pitch and roll control. The end effector is equipped with a stationary and mobile claw actuated by a lead screw allowing for high torque clamping of objects. The end effector also incorporates a hex head screwdriver to tighten a cathode screw and a linear actuating solenoid to type commands on a keyboard. Heimdall uses a behavior tree for the autonomous navigation mission and plans a path based off waypoints provided by operators. Global position and heading information is handled using a PixHawk 6C and GPS module, while an onboard LiDAR is used for terrain analysis and local path planning. Aruka markers and other objects of interest are detected using the JMU Robotics ROS2 Aruka Detect package and custom trained YOLO models that can determine distance and heading of the objects. A probabilistic search algorithm was designed to facilitate searching for objects in Aruka markers. Search points are sampled from a Gaussian model of the environment, which is then updated using sensor information as Heimdall gathers more data. To support the development and integration of Heimdall's autonomy stack, ROS2 Ignition Fortress was used to simulate the rover's core systems and mission environments. Surface soil samples are collected using one of three deployed rotating scoops and deposited into a clear reservoir. Isopropyl alcohol is added to create a solution that can be pumped out of the reservoir and into cuvettes in the onboard science laboratory. Cuvettes are staged and delivered to an onboard visible light spectrometer using a rotating carousel, allowing for up to four tests per collected sample. In addition to detecting natural pigments, the spectrometer measures the spectra of a burette colometric test to observe proteins in the solution. Spectrometer data is sent to the base station and viewed on the GUI. A subsurface sample is collected by a drill attached to a linear actuator which can achieve depths up to 15 centimeters. A soil capacitance probe on a linear actuator descends to measure soil moisture content. A sample tube contained within the core drill allows for sample caching for later presentation to the judges. We would like to thank all of our sponsors. Without you, we wouldn't be able to continue to push the limits of robotic design. Team Mountaineers is looking forward to competing in Utah this summer.